It's a decision that's going to stay with you. Today, there are more choices than ever before when it comes to artificial joints. Such as custom knee replacements, robotic knee replacements, computer-assisted knee replacement. Young patients in their 30s and 40s want joints that will last a long time. That may rest with newer materials. There's ceramic articulating surfaces that should not wear out as quickly. But the risk of ceramic with a hip is that that ceramic is a glass material. So there's a risk of a fracture or a crack. The typical age of knee or hip replacement is over 70. Those patients might be well served by the tried and true. Which would be a standard hip replacement, which is a metal ball on a plastic liner. Technology that we've had around for 25 or 30 years that I know my heart's going to take that patient until they're 100 years old. Size matters when it comes to artificial joints. Major manufacturers have implants to fit almost everyone. Branded products are based on variations. For example, the female knee. Their female knee is a narrowed femoral component, though that narrowed femoral component actually is needed for some men. For all the buzz about custom joints, it's really a custom fit you're getting. The implant itself is not the custom part. The guide that we get designed for that patient is the custom part. This guide gets thrown away. Surgeons say the implant that works best is the one that's put in properly. The best tool we have is our brain and our two hands. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.